Hey everyone, good morning. It's me and my coffee. I want to show you, this is the outside of a journal. Sorry, I had to take a drink. This is a, a basically a piece of canvas, I think, or um, I'm not sure. Maybe that's the, the paper that, or that, uh, the plastic canvas that canvas, um, I'm sorry, that Shannon Green was selling one one point with her custom keepers. There we go. Found the words. Um, and my friend Vicki had a piece of this. And she was just doodling on it and playing away. And she's like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I said, oh my gosh, that would make a beautiful journal cover. It does. I love it. This is the front and the back of the journal. You will see there's spots where painting has wore off, and that's just due to the use of this journal. So what, what we're here for is to do a quick flip, all right? So I don't know. Well, maybe I'll talk through this one. Um, this is just a journal where I sit and play. The first few of these were a lesson that I did. Um, honestly, I don't even remember the class. Uh, but there's a lot of me in there. These are things that I love. Um, playing with Stencil Girl stencils, playing in my art space, writing my Harley. Well, that was a while ago because I can't write it anymore. Um, love my girl Abby. She has passed away. <laughs> says I love that I don't have to use these colors often and actually I found that I kind of like the orange and the yellow and the red so that has changed a little bit I love country music always love country music that's just that and this says remember what you love to do and I did a bunch of journaling something about riding my motorcycle and just feeling the freedom of, of being me in the open road um, I don't know. I can't. I I read it, but I don't read it. Okay. There's another page. Again, this was from a lesson. Um, I have no idea. That definitely is not my hand. Um, no clue. I think this might be. I don't know. Made up hands. I love this page. I just really love it. Um, this is just stuff made out of scrapbook paper, and I love the background. To me, this this was just really cool, really cool page. This is all texture. You guys see it? I tried to blacken a little bit of that texture so you could see what was going on. Um, I just I really like this. I was playing with texture that day. This is actually three years old because a couple days ago, not too long ago, was my little girl's birthday. This is Pucky. And it says, today, July 4th, 2018, we've adopted our new little girl, new little girl in our family. We will pick her up on Sunday. We are really excited. We did. Um, she came from Ohio and we drove I don't know, somewhere way up in West Virginia and we met at this... Um, roadside what do you call it um i can't think my words are not with me today sorry guys it's a roadside like travel center there we go that's where we met and we picked up our little little stinker um just playing same here just playing i think this came out of an old journal this you know i just was playing with it having fun a lot of times these journals like this that you see, I'll either work on them at night um, while I'm watching TV with my husband, or sometimes I just feel like just coming in, turning on the music up loud, and just playing. So that's where you'll see this. Trust the timing of your life. That's what that one says. I don't know. These two pages makes no sense to me. <laughs> I don't know what the issue is, but... This just says time stands still, and here's these two little peoples. I believe these are off of Dina Wakeley's. Um, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but that's that. And then this little page has this goofy guy on it. That was actually a goofy guy that Peg had made, and she sent it to me. And it says, life is good. 
Okay. <laughs> this page, I tried to do a different way, a different, like, style. I'll be honest with you, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, I would love to just take some gesso and just paint over this whole thing. Maybe leave the bird. But anyways, you know, trial and error. That was something I just was playing around with. Do not like it. This page, I love. This page is one of the pages where I come in. I don't know if I did a recording of this or not. I don't think I did. But, um, yeah, this is just a page I enjoyed doing. You know, sometimes I'll come in my art room and I will turn on um, either a movie, a show, throw some music on, whatever, and I'll just sit here and play. And this says, you belong amongst, amongst the flowers. This... This something is something my dear friend Peg Robinson did this. And if you don't know who Peg Robinson is, go to her channel. Um, I'm trying to think. She has a different channel. Bits and Pieces? Try that. Um, either that or just Peg Robinson. We were at a, uh, like a little get-together. A bunch of girls and I were in this get-together. And Peg was showing us how to do alcohol ink lifts with a stamp and this was her alcohol ink pad that she just she put her alcohol ink down and then she took the stamp I don't know what she did put it here and then put it here I have tried this I can't tell you how many times it never comes out looking like this so I saw that and I'm like that's gonna go in my book because I want to remember that it just I love this I think this is beautiful so yeah someday I'll learn how to do that um, take care of your soul. This one, these actually are from the Dollar Tree. I got these a long time ago from the Dollar Store. And all they are is stickers with the black lines. And I, I did the background and I thought, you know, that would be really cool over there. So that's what I did. Nothing, nothing exciting. These pages are, some of them are really, really thick. Um, this page, no idea. Playing around. Looks like she's got a club on her hand. Um, just playing around, you know, doodling, stenciling, making marks, just having fun. You did it. You're amazing. I have no idea what she did, but she did it. <laughs> I wrote on here, just plain beauty. And I wanted to leave these girls just the way they are because I think they're adorable. These are just three little ladies and it looks like they're out shopping to me and they're having a good time. This is separate from that page. This one just says, I believe in hugs, and I don't know. This came from a kit that I was getting, and I wish now I can remember the name. If I do, I'll put it in the comments. Um, this young lady sent out a kit. It was like $10 a month. And what she sent in it were things that were already put together, and also a little bit of pieces that you could put together. And these were really cool. Some of these were really cool. That's one of the birds that she made. So that was fun. This one I actually just got done doing not long ago. Um, again, this is a Dina Wakely stamp. Uh, this is a Diane Reevely stamp. Diane Reevely. This is Diane. Um, this I think is Diane. I was just playing. I decided to get out some stamps and just play and have fun with them. And all it says is believe. It was just fun. Like I said, these pages are not really cohesive, I can say. This one is. Um, I just play. I don't go into an art journal looking to have perfect pages on everyone. That's not what I do. I get out an art journal, and I see a color, and I'm like, okay, let's use this. Oh, let's use a little bit of that. And this is how I create. This one's got a lot of shine on it. Um, this I think you may have seen a video on. It's just playing in my journal. And it says... It's smile, and it says, see miracles in life every day. So that was cool. This, <laughs> this is just, I was playing, again, playing with metallic um, sprays and little bit of inks and stuff. And I had this big black page with just this gold. And this is a picture of, this is my pucky. She's my cavalier. And this is a dear friend of mine. Um, this is her papillon. He's got the big butterfly ears. Well, I I sat him for a while. You know, I, I took care of him for a while while Carla, I'm sorry, my friend had to go on to a journey. 
Carla. All right, I'll tell you, Carla. Um, she had to take a trip somewhere, so I watched it for a while, and this is the best picture I could get of the two of them together. And I was looking at it, and I'm like, you know what? They're out in the galaxy. They're just hanging out. I don't know. My thinking. I love it. Love the little puppies. He's a little handsome man, and that's my princess. Looks like she just got out of the pool. Um, again, this page, this is actually, I don't know how well you can see those pictures. Those are actually pictures of a uh, whole body mannequin, like from the neck to the groin. It was a mannequin that I completely did um, with shells and all kinds of stuff regarding to the sea and it's actually hanging up down in scrapbooks by the sea um, it was a cool little project I absolutely loved it again I was just playing on this page and these two pictures I thought needed to go there and that's where they are this is actually another page pulled out of a different journal that I stuck on here and these are just little bumblebees and that's not really, well, it does, doesn't come out. It's a tag, but it doesn't come out. And it just says, this is the life, be happy, this is the life. And then a pair of flip-flops. And I'll tell you, living in the South is fabulous. Love it. Um, this one I think you guys might have seen. Imperfect, curious, magical, authentic. Again, playing with sprays. Just messing around with them. Um, and then a big stencil. This page tends to stick a lot, so I like to leave that there. Again, playing with sprays. I was, I think I was testing my Dina Wakely, um, the latest ones that came out, the ones that have the gloss, because that's what I was playing with here. But um, it says, this is the time, the place, the moment, and the moment in which you were meant to be. And I just had fun. This is stencil and stencil. <laughs> this is my beautiful, beautiful baby. Um, she's much older than this now. But what this says is, my beautiful granddaughter, there is no one like you. And she will always forever hold a spot in my heart that's just, she's my girl. She knows it. She's grandma's girl. And then some stamps that I was playing around with. I think these are Tracy Scott stamps. Um, this, again, I just sit here and doodle. I sit, my doodle, my type of doodling. I sit here and play and just do, and it just says there's love in every layer. <coughs> so I like both, I love both of these pages. Um, this one, hold on, I gotta take a little sip. My throat is really dry this morning. Um, this one... I actually sat here and I can tell you it was very recently and it was right after um, the ex-cop was found guilty of the kid's murder that he put his knee on his neck. And I was sitting here just playing around and I found this in my stash and I'm like, you know what? Yep, justice served. Which I think is great. I'm really glad he didn't get away with it. That's just my opinion. This, again, um, stencils, and then just doodle. And then I found this piece of paper in my stash, and it was just stenciled and doodled. And then I found this white flower. You can't really see the white flower, though. See it? It's there. Um, yeah, and I just put try something new. This, if you see this black line, that's actually a piece of stencil material. Um, a friend of mine that makes stencils, um, check her out. It's what if NC, so what, W-H-A-T-I-F, and then just the initials NC, and that's for North, North Carolina. So what if NC. Um, but anyways, that was the frame, and a lot of her scraps, I'll say to her, you know, I really want the scraps that are decent. So I took this piece of cardboard, um, I'm sorry, cardstock, and I love this, Color Your World, and I love these elephants. And then I turned over, <clears throat> pardon me, the back of this, and I had these beautiful peacock feathers. And I didn't think it really needed to say anything else. I just thought it was very pretty. This. 
Again, playing around with paints and stencils and washi tape. Um, this is, oh gosh, don't tell me the year. I can't remember. It's a truck we had at one point. Um, this was actually the day we brought it home. My husband absolutely loved it. It was really fun to ride in. Um, we went from a four car garage down to a one car. So yeah, we had to get rid of a lot of toys and this was one of them that we ended up getting rid of. It was fun, great truck. Here, this is just a mess. It's a Mod Podge mess, is what I call it. I just did a lot of stenciling. I was just playing. I didn't really know where I wanted this page to go. <laughs> it says life right now. So yeah, it's chaotic. And you know, it worked. That little girl is just saying life is just crazy right now. This, I found this image in a magazine and I just found her to be, I don't know, awesome. And it says, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. I like that. I just thought that kind of fit. This is a page where I tried to, no filling the pages. I tried. Um, all white space. I just had a lot of fun with different paint, um, different textures. Oops, my butterfly's wings broke. Yeah, this journal's been around for quite a while. Um, just play. I've got play and joy and fun. And again, that's what I like to do in my journals. <laughs> just messing around. This was done, I believe, in front of the TV. Um, there was a movie on, and I just started playing. And there it is. This was a, a, t a card that someone had sent to me and it said happiness and I really loved the background of it. So I just stuck it in here. I thought that was perfect. This is the back of it. Again, playing around with different splotting of stuff and stencils and I just put the word on here, timeless. Because honestly, if you look at these journals, um, they are timeless. You can watch them for it. You can look at them forever and forever. So there it is. There's a flip of another big journal that doesn't like to shut. Apparently I have a problem with that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will chat with you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.